Hey, what's up? So we're outside of 6th Street here in Austin, Texas during South by Southwest. Uh, sometime about 8 o'clock last night, we got word that Bodega Girls had a little problem at one of their shows. They went on, played for like 10 minutes, stormed off the stage, caused a ruckus. We're here to get the truth, to find out what happened on Wednesday, March 16th at the Bodega Girls down at South by Southwest. I'm joined now by King Abrock. How you doing? Lady Carmen. Hello, hello. So, guys, what's the, uh, what, what went on last night? Well, it was basically amateur hour. I mean... What club was this? Uh, it was at the Speakeasy, which is not far from here. Okay. And it was a great show. It had a lot of promise. We were playing with Joss Racer. Speakeasy is a cool venue, it's though. Totally it's a good great. venue. Totally yeah, venue. Great drinks, great staff. Um, playing with Joss Racer, really excited. Oh, sick. And they were like, yo, man, you're on a five. And we're like, cool, man. Joss is playing, have a drink, then we'll play. And then cuts to, oh, all of a sudden there's another band up on stage. Sound checking, we're like, oh, that's fucking weird. Ask the guy, oh man, can push you like 530. We're like, oh cool, yeah, that's fine. Who's the other band? I, I don't know, it was like uh, the Get Up Kids meets, meets a fart machine. Oh, Damn. Maybe it's this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm I don't think, sure it, I don't think works. it works. I try to make a call, but. Man, yeah. Really <laughs> uh, it's for the Boston Phoenix. Do an interview on the street. No, what's up? <laughs> I think there might be one right there. Yeah, I think there's. I thought I saw one across the street, but check it out. No problem. So it was wrong, man. People use payphones all the time. <laughs> that was it's my, true. People that was do use payphones. That was about 30 seconds. We were talking shit up payphones. The guy's like, I need that. <laughs> we were like, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So basically, man, like they kept pushing us back, pushing us back. And then, I'm pretty sure they added a fucking band, like, last minute, right before yeah. we went on. Yeah, And I was like, whoa, buddy. And we had been there, like, all day. We had been, I, we had been drinking. Drinking yeah. for fucking, like, at least two hours. To the point where I was hungover in the afternoon, and then I started drinking again. <laughs> so, like, it was, like, two months there, you know? And, uh, you know, finally, they're like, all right, guys, the band's over. You guys can play. We get on stage. And some dude in, a, like, a sensitive ponytail, like a Bob Marley yeah. zipper up hoodie is like, oh. Hey, whoa, whoa, show's over, buddy. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And I, I was like, yo, man, I flew down here all the way from Boston. I'm like, I don't care, we got the fucking, like, uh, you know, Rasta, you know, some shitty fucking neo Rasta <laughs> band playing. And I was like, dude, I don't care. He's like, yeah, they need a two hour sound check, so you guys can't play now. And so, basically, I begged him after like Jake had like crazy eye and had the staff red. around. He turned red. Like I was up on stage, I'm just looking over at all of you guys and looking at Jake just turn red. Yeah. So, like as the seconds go by, I'm like, dude, he's gonna throw a punch. Yeah. Like he's gonna fucking. Go he red. had like the I'm I used to be in Cast Iron Hike like crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, like Steve Zisu, get him out of Zuata, crazy eye. Yeah. And uh, I was like, yo, man, listen, ponytail, dude. Give me 15 minutes. Like we're all musicians. We're all, I was pulling like the you know job less. Right, yeah. Southwest, Southwest. Yeah, like, you know love. we all we're all here. We're all one. Yeah. Job less. And he's like, how about I give you 12? And I was like, got it. Let's go. <laughs> so we like played. And I was we were, by that Luke time Bonner it was like also came Luke up. Bonner, who yeah. plays the San Antonio Spurs, yeah. came out, introduced us. Wow. Yeah. We got a fucking superstar celebrity yeah. to introduce us, and we didn't even have any slack with that. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go Celtics. Go Celts! Oh, oh sorry, my bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, man, long story short, we played, and then we played one of our songs, and we just were breaking everything, and then they cut off our mics, and then I, I was, I said one more, and then we played an off cover. Because <laughs> we love off. Yeah, they're awesome. And then we left. We just fucking threw our shit down. So we played for probably about nine minutes. Yeah. And, nine uh, minutes. and not I a goddamn it, moment more. Yeah, and actually there was one point where I was dancing on a table, and there was all these girls, and I like... You know, I was doing my thing, and there was, I didn't know there was a ceiling fan, like, right above me. And I, like, knocked my hat off, and I felt, like, skimming my head. It was a near, near-death experience. I think, actually, we all just jumped off the stage all at once. Like, by the end of off, yeah. like, I threw my shot glass, I threw the fucking light, and just, like, no one was off. Like, by the time I was off, everybody else was off. So yeah. it was like, oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. But, it was fun, man. It was honestly, you know... It was not a regular show, but it was the best show. Yeah. It was, it was awful. It was like a big, it was literally a shit show. And people learn don't fuck with Bodega Girls. 
Don't fuck with electronic. Don't fuck with bodega girls. We're electronic pop, man. We do this shit right. <laughs> <laughs> New order. I don't know. Boston. I wouldn't fuck, I wouldn't fuck with Bernard Sumner, man. Boston representing down here in Austin. Yeah. I have no idea what's going yeah. on, but don't shit, cut the bodega girls show short. Catch you later. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs>